back to our channel. My name is Mommy Ara and for this video, I'm going to give you tips for a normal delivery. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate you for that baby. I know some of you na nag-click ng video na to ay buntis. May planong magbuntis. Second, third, fourth baby, congratulations. You deserve that blessing. Now, moving forward, uh, I know you have to prepare yourself for a normal delivery. Sino ba naman ang gustong masasarian, di ba? Kung may easy way sa pagpanganganak. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, first tip is don't gain too much weight because yung baby din sa loob ay lalaki. Picture out yung isang butas na maliit at isang napakalaking object. Paano siya papasok sa butas na maliit kung ganun siya kalaki? Alam niyo yun? Guess niyo yun? So basta yun na yun. Uh, hindi lalabas ang baby kung super or mahihirapan na lumabas yung baby kung super laki siya as in so, kung super malaki siya yung baby na malaki na makonsider siguro is 3.5 and up or 3.6 and up pero basta mga uh, within that weight 3.5 kilos I mean ha kasi si Yana is just 2.7 so mas madali kung na i labas si Yana via normal delivery kasi nga napakaliit niya. So, yun na. Uh, minimize niyo lang yung mga carbs. Huwag masyadong ma-rice. Alam ko, gigil na gigil kayo sa gutom niyan, pero control niyo lang talaga. Huwag masyadong mag-rice. And then, yung mga sweets like ice cream, a cake, those are very, very tempting, I know, but you have to really, really control yourself. Control your diet kasi may target ka. Gusto mong mag-normal delivery. So, pagka uh, when the baby reaches 32 weeks, at least 32 weeks, 33 weeks, yung bang parang 4 weeks na lang mga nganak ka, 4, to, 4 weeks and up mga nganak ka na, that's the time na bibilis yung growth ni baby inside you. So, better na mag-diet ka. One thing na ginawa ko before was nag- uh, for breakfast, gumagawa na lang ako ng overnight oats. You can search it on Google kung paano gawin yung overnight oats para at least hindi ka matempt na mag-rice. Uh, ano pa bang ginawa ko? Basta yun lang, minimize lang yung, yung rice. Kasi yung rice, kasi yung pam, uh, ma, mas mabilis kang lumaki with rice. Okay? So, tip number two, prepare yourself physically. Aside sa diet, you also have to exercise. I must admit na hindi ako nag-exercise when I was pregnant and that's one of my regrets kasi tamad ako. Pero advice talaga is to exercise. May mga yoga, may mga exercises na advisable or recommended for pregnant women. Kung ano yung bagay na physical activity for you, you have to consult first your OB, your doctor, Bago mo gawin yun, wag na wag kang mag-engage uh, into physical activities which you think would require you stress or strenuous activities kasi uh, it might cause harm on you and on your baby. So, mas mabuti na i-consult mo muna if you really want to do some exercises. Isa rin na ginawa ko na lang before was walking. Early morning walk with my husband. Uh, we walk patungo sa uh, kanto namin para bumili ng tinapay. Of course, guilt, isa, isa rin yun sa mga guilt kasi pag dating sa bahay, kinakain yung, yung pandesan. Pero, which is wrong, ba? So, yun din yung isa sa mga reason kung bakit ako lumobo ng todo. Pero good thing si baby sa loob, hindi na siya ganun ka laki. Anyway, so yun lang, prepare yourself physically. Number three, practice natural labor pain management techniques. For example, yung mga breathing exercises, inhale, exhale. Sabayan nyo yung mga, uh, i-practice nyo yan kasi magagamit nyo yung mga breathing exercises na yan or breathing pattern na yan once you are in labor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Uh, hindi siya totally nakakawala ng pain, but it would help you handle labor pain. So, number two, uh, isa rin is yung self, 
uh, hypnosis. Yung parang hinihypnotize mo yung self mo. May mga video sa YouTube na nahanap ko before regarding self-hypnosis. Isa yung parang hinihypnotize mo yung sarili mo. Search nyo yung mga ganun na para sa buntis. Kasi uh, may mga hospital, may mga clinics na ia-allow nila, ina-allow nila yung cellphone. So, pwede mong pakinggan yan while, I mean, during your labor. Doon kasi sa hospital na... Uh, where I gave where I gave birth, bawal yung gadget. So, hindi ko siya na-apply. Although, parang ini-imagine ko na lang na yun yung parang pinapakinggan ko in my mind. Uh, somehow, nare-relax ako. Pero mas mabuti talaga yung may actual na naririnig ka. And yung relaxation. Importante din yung re relaxation, of course. Wag, uh, sinasabi natin, di ba, wag magpanik. Pero... Uh, hindi talaga, paminsan-minsan hindi naiiwasan na magpapanik tayo kasi super sakit talaga ng labor. Swerte lang yung iba na hindi nila naramdaman yung ganun ka-intense na pain. Pero majority talaga, mararamdaman mo talaga yung labor pain. Pero isa din sa mga nakakatulong is mag-relax ka lang. Kalmahin mo yung sarili mo. Uh, mindset lang kasi yan eh. Mind over body. So, pag iniisip mo na super sakit, at in super sakit talaga siya. Pero pag iniisip mo lang na gusto mo nang mga anak, yun, nakaka-motivate din yun para ma-push hard mo. So, relax ka lang. Choose an OB who supports your childbirth plan. So, may mga OB kasi, although we, we are not judging them, pero may mga OB kasi na parang Uh, gusto nila normal delivery ka, gusto nila cesarean suction ka, base din yan kasi sa physical na sitwasyon mo and sitwasyon din ni baby sa loob. So, uh, kausapin nyo lang ng kausapin yung OB nyo, make friends with her or him, uh, open nyo kung ano yung mga plans nyo. Kasi yung OB ko, sinabihan talaga namin na we really wanted a normal delivery because I was a working mom before, so ayoko masesarian, and ayoko ma parang ma ma feel na uh, yung matagal yung recovery, your recovery stage. So gusto ko yung normal delivery, and my OB was very very supportive as in tinulungan niya talaga ako na mag normal delivery. I had epidural or nagrequest ako ng epidural twice ako. Uh, Uh, hindi naman twice, pero yung dosage ata, twice na nilagay dun sa machine for my epidural. Pero, I ended up, uh, naipanganak ko pa rin siya na normal. So, if you want a full story about my birth, I mean, I mean my labor and delivery birth, nasa channel din dito, hanapin nyo lang. Or, ilalagay ko siguro yung card dito sa taas. Yeah. Sorry sa mga pa-flower natin dyan. Okay, so... Yun na, yun na nga, di ba? So, choose your OB, talk to your OB, tell her your plans and everything para at least aware yung OB mo kung ano yung gusto nyo. Sabihin nyo rin na ito lang yung budget nyo, wala kayong uh, kakayanan na mag-finance for a cesarean section. So, at least guide kayo, well-guided kayo ng OB nyo. Paano, anong mga dapat nyo gawin, etc. Et Number five, have a positive mindset. Uh, have a positive mindset. Always, always, always ilagay nyo sa isip nyo na magno-normal delivery kayo. Huwag nyo i-entertain yung thoughts na mag-cesarean section kayo. Because if you do, low attraction kasi yan eh. So, mag, if you would always think na mag-cesarean section ka, masi-CS ka talaga. You're, hindi mo mape-prepare yung mind and body mo for a normal delivery. So, yun yung isa sa mga naging tekniko. Yung ginawa ko rin is nanood ako ng, palagi ako nanonood ng mga, uh, yung mga birth vlogs, vlogs about giving birth sa YouTube. So, as in, uh, parang, I always put myself dun sa nanganak, dun sa video, yung pain, parang, parang ini-imagine ko na para at least prepared na yung mind and body ko with the normal delivery. So, wag nyo talagang i-entertain yung thoughts about cesarean section. Especially, kung healthy naman kayo, wala naman, hindi naman high risk yung pagbubuntis nyo. So, that's it. Have a positive mindset. Number six, push hard. Uh, 
push hard. Sinasabing push hard, hindi yung parang hinuhold mo yung breath mo, but push hard. Push hard na para kang natatae. <laughs> para kang natatae. That's the secret para lubi, para madaling lumabas si Ana. Uh, kasi you have to parang sa pelvic area mo, dun kasi yung yung uh, bone ng pelvic area mo, yun yung mag, mag uh, yun yung uh, mag-open <laughs> yun yung bubukas para dun lalabas yung baby. At least it will help you para lalabas si baby. I don't know. May mga may mga Please correct me if I'm wrong na lang ha. Put it on the comment section if I'm wrong. Pero yun yung strategy kasi. So, you have to push hard na para kang natatae para at least lalabas bigla si baby. Huwag kang mag-alala if, for example, fears mo or yung mga worries mo like, um, ah, yung mga, uh, ano ba yan? Hemorrhoids. Yung, basta yung things like that. Just talk to your OB kung ano yung dapat gawin yan, okay? And then, last but not the least is you have to pray. You really have to pray, ask for God's guidance, ask for help. Uh, uh, yun yung parang i sabihin mo lahat ng plans mo kay God. Uh, uh, lahat ng mga gusto mong mangyari, lahat ng mga intentions mo, you have to pray. Nakakatulong din if you pray together with your husband para at least uh, may prayer kasi yan for, for pregnant women, for even during before, I mean, even before conception, may prayer yan. Especially for Catholic people, may mga prayers yan para dyan. So, uh, pray nyo lang. Pray nyo lang every night bago matulog. At least kahit na LDR kayo sa so mga LDR dyan, pray lang kayo together. Say your intentions, and God will really, really guide and help. Okay? So, I think that's it. Yun lang yung mga tips na maibibigay ko sa inyo base dun sa, of course, sa nalab, na base dun sa experience ko and dun sa mga little knowledge na alam ko. So, I hope na may mga natutunan kayo for this vlog. I hope then na you will also share this vlog dun sa mga friends nyo, sa mga kakilala nyo na sa tingin nyo ay kailangan nila ng mga ganitong klaseng tips. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!